This is simply an example using the GOP. So I've got to ask, why is it the top leadership of the political parties do not approach the issue of Agenda 21, sustainable development? The reason they don't is because they're both in on it. And if we lose sight of that fact and we follow the left or we follow the right, we end up at the same place. I'm now going to contrast the difference between the American philosophy of individual rights with the globalist philosophy of community rights. That's what we're really fighting about. You see, in America, the nature of rights is recognized to be held by the individual. And we find the basis for that line of thinking in the U.S. Declaration of Independence, where it says that we are to protect the natural or unalienable rights of each individual. That all men are created by their, are, excuse me, that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Now let's contrast that with the globalist system of community rights as articulated at the UN Declaration of Human Rights. There, control of the individual is important for the greater good of the global community. In Article 29 of the UN Declaration, it says the following. The rights and freedoms may, may, be, um, may in no case be exercised contrary to the purposes and principles of the UN. You see, under this system, the government grants, restricts, and withdraws your rights according to its needs. You and the product of your labor belong to the community. Let's contrast that with the U.S. dynamic, where you're born with rights. Government exists to protect those rights. You and your work are yours. Now, the judicial system that protects individual rights is based on the principle of freedom called equal rights. Equal justice, excuse me. Equal justice supports true diversity, a respect for the independence and unalienable rights of the individual, and genuine respect for individuality. Equal justice protects us from mob rule. A system of human rights or community rights operates to pursue social justice, which can be defined as law formulated to obtain government's social objectives at the expense of individual liberty. The sustainable development agenda is based on the principle that the collective good and democracy are more important than individual rights. That is in direct opposition to the cornerstone principle of equal justice. Equal justice is the wonder within mankind's greatest achievement, and that was the American Declaration of Independence. I'm going to shift direction here a little bit and talk about something that's really quite new. We're going to talk about B Corps. Anybody ever heard of B Corporations or Benefit Corporations? About two or three hands. Well, B Corporations rule out a new economic system that uses social manip manipulation to destroy free enterprise. We are talking now about a, a new American system of economics where insiders pick the winners and losers. Today's government operates like the click at junior high school. Cool is in, everybody else is excluded. Just this month, Governor Brown signed AB 361, a bill that will ultimately wipe out independent and private business in California. AB 361 establishes California B Corp benefit corporations, a program for buddies and beneficiaries who agree by requirement of the statute to, to advance the principles of sustainable development agenda 21. Benefit corporations and B Corps are a new kind of corporation and business sector that purports to use, this is their quote, the power of business to solve social and environmental problems, unquote. 
In reality, these corporations support the implementation of Agenda 21, which is based upon the three, the three E objectives um, discussed earlier, equity, economy, and environment. Other terms for the same objectives are people, planet, and profit, or triple bottom line. Because B Corps are legally recognized by government for their willingness to undertake Agenda 21 sustainable objectives, state and local entities will be encouraged to allow these companies to go to the front of the line for permits, licenses, and tax incentives. The corporations that refuse to become benefit corporations will simply have to wait. Of course, eventually, it will be the big companies that get all the favors from government by going along with B Corps. Government uses these elite businesses to accomplish their social engineering ideals and to acquire more power without having to answer to voters. We can see here the change we seek, they say, certified B Corporations. The company that will support B Labs, uh, the company will support B Labs public policy objectives. It was a company called B Labs, three Stanford grads who are taking this concept all across the country. You see that they talk about incentives for certified sustainable businesses. You see you're going to get a certification in sustainability just to show that you're going along, just like Schindler did. The whole B Corp idea is about creating incentives for the buddies and beneficiaries of the new economic order to indicate the establishment of global governance policies into our state legislature. Take notice of the B Corporation's declaration of interdependence. I've heard that term before because I know every grammar school in the California public school system talks about our interdependence. Our children are being raised in our schools to an entirely different philosophical premise. Now that Governor Brown has signed this legislation, it is a giant step into the unknown. The text of the bill doesn't even try to define what the standards will be, only it says there will be standards. And those standards are not subject to the approval of voters, but instead are up to B-Labs. In short, the governor has signed a law, a bill that has the potential to give economic carte blanche to a group or organization that the public has neither vetted nor approved. To date, seven states have passed B Corp legislation. California, Hawaii, Maryland, New Jersey, somebody said that governor was special? Hmm. New York, Vermont, and Virginia. Already Colorado, Michigan, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania have legislation pending. Globalism is on the march. We have more on B corporations at our website. In particular, Stephen Poole has written a comprehensive four-part article entitled Benefit Corporations. Expansion of the Public-Private Fascist State. 